Welcome to beautiful Paso Robles, California. Today you're in for a real treat. A twofer in a way. Craft wine and craft spirits. Why? Because we're turning wine into vodka. Hi, I'm Suzanne Henriksen, a researcher and storyteller by trade and a world explorer drink local enthusiast by heart. I'm traveling the world to celebrate and share the people, the process, the stories, and the innovations behind craft alcohol. And I can't wait to share our amazing finds with all of you. So let's get drinking, crafty cask style. Today we're going to meet husband and wife team Alex and Monica, who after 18 years of making incredible wines at their Villacana winery, decided that even the unused juice from their wine was too good to not do something with. Alex, thank you so much for having us here at Refined Distillery. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to come and see what we're doing. So tell me, you and your wife, Monica, were making incredible wines for your winery, Villacana Winery, yeah. and something kind of kept bothering you. Yeah, in an effort to make a really high quality wine, we pull a certain amount of Saunier before uh, the fermentation starts, and it used to go unused. Tell me a little bit about the process. So you have that unused juice, what happens from there? So we take that juice, you immediately have to distill it. That first okay. distillation is actually the most crucial because the wine is in perfect condition at that point. And so if you distill it at that point, you're just highlighting the good things that are in that wine. We have kind of a specialty still. It's considered a hybrid still because you can produce any spirit that you want in here. The kettle is actually where the, uh, the wine or the, the spirits go and it's basically steam heated. The alcohol vapor comes to the bottom of our column uh, and slowly works its way up, um, basically getting a higher and higher alcohol and purer and purer flavors. And then it finally comes out of our uh, condenser, out of the, the parrot, as we call it. Yeah. Um, and that's when you're uh, basically getting that high proof spirit. And when it's coming off the still, what actually legally makes it a vodka is that it's 95% pure alcohol or higher. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. So you're kind of making me thirsty talking about this and this high proof alcohol. Should we? I know where to find some. We're right over here in the <laughs> awesome. tasting bar. Come Let's on over. Let's go do it. Refined, it's a kind of a team effort here. Um, I'm gonna introduce you to my wife, Monica. Nice to um, meet you. She's gonna kind of explain a little bit what we're doing with the spirits and let you try some of this. Awesome, thanks so much, oh, I appreciate it. Yeah. So I'm gonna have you taste our vodka so that you can taste it pure and understand the flavors and the textures in your mouth before I pour you through the flavored Perfect. vodka. I'm excited to taste it. So the first thing that you'll notice is that there's a little bit of texture on it and that's because of its derivative of the grape. There's a lot of what's called glycerol in it and it coats your mouth and gives you a really nice sweetness to it. This is delicious, this is really great. Wonderful. You're right, I could sip this, and you know, I'm not typically a vodka girl, and so I could totally sip this though. Well, we do not filter our spirits. We believe that if you start with a very high quality base material, that if you do a very high quality fermentation, and then only extract the glycerol, the good alcohols, there's no reason to filter, because when you're filtering, you're actually taking out all of the flavor and the personality with it. And right now, people are understanding that they want to taste the flavor of their spirit. So next I'm gonna pour you a very unique spirit. It's actually this vodka that you just sipped here, but then what we do is we age it in our used whiskey barrels. Oh, so after we pull the whiskey out of the barrels, we put the vodka in it and give it some time to age in there. So what you wow. get, because we're grape-based, wow. it has a slight sweet characteristic to it, and then it also gets the nice whiskey characteristic. Yeah. So it drinks actually like a bourbon, and if I don't tell them it's a vodka, they have no idea. Absolutely, no, this has some like really nice like caramel notes, but yes. very light. It's almost like a bourbon light. It's really like delicious. Very I can enjoyable. see why people really like this. Let me also give you a little sample of our kumquat liqueur. So tell me a little bit more about kumquats. You don't see that in alcohols very often. Kumquats are very interesting. For the most part, they're decorative, and they don't really get used in the, the culinary oh, industry. Oh, yeah. interesting. So for us, our whole purpose is finding a reuse, which is where we got refined, ah. and then refining it into top shelf spirits. So for us, the kumquat was a natural, because we found a reuse for the kumquats. That's so. great, that's amazing. And it's really quite good. I mean, you're gonna get me in trouble with your spirits <laughs> here because all of them, I could just drink straight, well, I feel like. Well, thank you, thank you. And for us, it's again, it's the authenticity of we ferment everything, we distill everything, we age and bottle everything. And so that's really what makes us truly craft. 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you guys are quintessentially kind of a craft distillery. I mean, you really are doing everything that when someone says craft, this is what it should mean, right? Um, and so I really appreciate you taking the time today and walking me through some of your amazing spirits. Thank you so Thank much, you. Monica. Thank I you really appreciate coming. it. It's stories like these that we heard from Alex and Monica today that really go to show all alcohol is not created equal. This is about family, passion, respect for the ingredients and land, and ultimately love of the craft. So next time that you're at your favorite bar or bottle shop, make sure to ask them to carry refined spirits. Because after all, supporting local craft producers and introducing all of you to unique and incredible drinks is what we're all about at the Crafty Cask. Until next time, drink craft and drink local. I'm back. As a quick reminder, the Crafty Cask is a scrappy little startup, but we have big ideas and plans to help all of you discover and drink amazing craft alcohol. So if you like what you see, please hit like and leave us some comments below. The more support we get, the more we'll be able to create even better content for all of you and bring our amazingly fun vision to life. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel here or our mailing list here. Thanks so much and happy craft drinking.